student uh, welcome in today's uh, uh, cet uh, lecture in this lecture we will revise uh, the parts from this topic that part we have studied uh, in detail in theory lecture uh, in this uh, cet lecture uh, what we revise we revise the relative growth okay in uh, the plant how it is takes place and how we uh, compare that uh, relative growth those part uh, we are going to uh, revise in this lecture then uh, after that uh, we will revise the various types of the growth curves means uh, you are aware with the growth curves uh, like the linear growth curve then the exponential growth curve and the sigmoid growth curve so these three growth curves we have to revise in brief and then at the end of uh, this lecture uh, we will revise uh, what is meant by the differentiation then what is meant by the de differentiation and what is meant by the re differentiation so these three processes how it is takes place in uh, the dicot plant those part uh, we are going to revise in detail in today's lecture okay relative growth and growth comparison okay relative growth and growth comparison okay so see yeah uh, this part it is included in your syllabus uh what is mean by the relative growth and the growth comparison so in this we have to see now uh, the what is mean by the relative growth and then uh, we have to compare uh, by taking the one example we have to compare the relative growth so student uh, what is uh, mean by the relative growth uh, before that what is mean by uh, the actual growth the actual growth means the growth of the particular system per unit time uh, it is called as an actual growth okay it is a actual growth or it is uh, the absolute growth okay it is actual growth or where to say it is absolute growth means the uh, amount of growth per unit time of the particular system it is called as the actual growth then what is the relative growth when we compare uh, the actual growth uh, with uh, its initial growth okay when we compare uh, the actual growth per unit time uh, with its initial growth then that growth it is called as the relative growth so what is uh, the relative growth the relative growth it is the growth of the given system per unit time per its initial growth it is called as the relative growth means um, when we compare uh, the growth of that system with its the initial growth or uh, with its initial size that growth it is called as a relative growth okay so uh, remember for this uh, uh, we have to study the one example for the study of the relative growth but before that uh, see what is meant by this uh, relative okay relative growth okay relative growth means it is the relative growth means in short okay in short it is it is the actual growth actual growth okay for its okay initial growth initial growth it is called as a the relative growth so for this student uh, we have to study the two systems okay two systems means in the sense uh, we have to study the two leaves okay two leaves having the different initial growth okay having the different initial growth so suppose uh, see this is uh, the leaf a okay suppose this is the leaf a okay uh, this is the leaf a so this is the leaf 
A. Okay, this is the leaf A. Then another leaf. This uh, this is the another uh, leaf. They are having uh, the little larger initial growth. Okay, little larger initial growth as compared to the leaf A. Okay, as compared to leaf A. So this is C. This is the leaf B. So these are the two systems. Okay, these are the two systems. Then uh, after this certain time interval, uh, these two systems they shows the growth. Okay, they shows the growth and uh, whatever the growth they shows. Okay, what type of the growth they shows? But before that, before that, what is the initial uh, growth of the first system? The initial growth of the first system it is the five centimeter square. Okay, it is the five centimeter square. Then what it is uh, the uh, final growth? After certain time interval, uh, that final growth uh, it shows the final growth. Uh, it is the ten centimeter square. But this uh, the final growth means that system. Uh, we have to say that system or that leaf after attaining the final growth. That leaf it is the leaf a dash. Okay, leaf a dash. Then the in case of the second system means leaf B. Okay, leaf B. Uh, it also shows the final growth. Okay, it also shows the final growth, and they form uh, the second system, and that system it is the leaf B dash. Okay, leaf B dash. So both the system. At a certain time interval, or at the same time interval, uh, they shows the same type of growth. They show the same type of growth uh, in the sense they shows their increase in five centimeter uh, as as compared to its initial growth. So, in case of the uh, system first, means in case of the leaf A, the initial growth it is five centimeter square. And its final growth uh, means this system A dash. It is having uh, the ten centimeter square surface area. Okay, ten centimeter square surface area. So uh, this second system, the uh, this first system, they show this final increase. Uh, how much they show the final increase? They shows the five centimeter square. Final increase. So in all total, uh, the growth is 10 centimeter square. Okay, growth it is 10, 10 centimeter square. In case of the second uh, system, that is a leaf B, they are having the initial growth. It is the 50 centimeter square. This is the initial growth. In case of uh, the leaf B or the second system, and how much increase they show? They show. The same type of the increase. How much increase it is seen in the system post five centimeter square increase. So uh, this second system, they also shows uh, the increase. It is a five centimeter square than that of uh, their initial growth. In the sense, this second system, uh, they are showing the increase uh, that uh, final growth. It is fifty five centimeter square. Okay, fifty five. Centimeter square. Then, student, <clears throat> we have to compare uh, the uh, relative growth in uh, between these two systems. Okay, relative growth in between these two systems means which system they shows the maximum relative growth and which system they shows uh, the minimum relative growth. Okay, so uh, student, let's say uh, in case of uh, the system first or the leaf A. Okay, system first or the leaf A. Uh, we have to calculate uh, the relative growth in case of the leaf A. So see the relative growth. Okay, relative growth in case of the leaf A. How we calculate that? Uh, with the help of a very simple formula. That is the final growth. 
okay final growth fi final growth minus okay minus initial growth okay initial growth divided by okay divided by the initial growth okay initial initial growth so uh, to put the values the what is the final growth of this system a system a or the leaf a what is the final growth of leaf a the final growth of leaf a is 10 cm okay 10 cm square so the 10 minus what is the initial growth it is the 5 cm square so the 10 minus 5 divided by initial growth it is 5 so how much it is it is the 5 divided by 5 okay 5 divided by 5 means initial growth it is 5 and what is the final growth the final growth it is also uh, shows the 5 cm square okay it also shows the 5 cm square uh, means same as like the initial growth that much growth it is obtained at this certain time interval in the sense in system A uh, it shows the hundred percent growth okay hundred percent growth means uh, uh, initial growth it is a five centimeter square and uh, the final increase it is also seen it is a five centimeter square okay five centimeter square so what is the answer here it is the one centimeter square so when we obtain the one centimeter square uh, is such type of the relative growth okay one centimeter square relative growth in the sense that relative growth it is same percent or it is the hundred percent relative growth okay hundred percent relative growth see in case of the second system okay in case of the second system uh, see what is the relative growth is equal to okay relative growth is equal to the final growth minus the initial growth so see what is the final growth the final growth it is 55 centimeter square minus initial growth it is 50 centimeter square divided by the initial growth it is 50 centimeter square so what is the answer the 55 minus 50 it is 5 centimeter square divided by 50 centimeter square okay 50 centimeter square so student same uh, what is the answer it is 1 centimeter square divided by yes it is 1 centimeter square divided by the 10 centimeter square that means out of 10 uh, 10 centimeter square how much relative growth is obtained uh, only the 1 centimeter square relative growth is obtained so in this second system in second system what we observed uh, we observed uh, only the 10 percent relative growth that is it shows the 10 percent relative growth okay second system it shows the 10 percent relative growth so on this uh, with this example student i think you are compared uh, the what is the uh, what is the growth comparison with respect to its the relative growth so which system uh, shows the maximum relative growth so the system a they show the same percent growth and the system b it shows only the 10 percent growth so which system it shows uh, the maximum relative growth the system a okay system a shows the maximum relative growth as compared to system b okay as compared to system b so uh, you remember uh, the system a it shows the maximum relative growth uh, than that of this system B. So remember uh, here at this moment or uh, at uh, the CET or NEET point of view is concerned uh, how we identify uh, 
the weight system shows the maximum relative growth without calculating by using any type of the formula see uh, the the system uh, which are having the maximum initial growth that system they shows the less relative growth and the system which having uh, the minimum okay or the less initial growth that system it shows the maximum relative growth so student i think you understand well ja uh, system madhe ja system chi initial growth kami asel tya system chi relative growth jast aste he lakshat gya ani ja system chi initial growth maximum ahe asha madhe asha system madhe relative growth hi minimum aste रिलेटिव ग्रोथ ही मिनिमम असते कारण इथे मॅक्सिमम सरफेस एरिया इथे अक्वायर केलेला असतो त्याच्यामुळे रिलेटिव ग्रोथ ऍज कंपेयर टू इनिशियल ग्रोथ इट इज लेस एंड इन दिस फर्स्ट सिस्टीम दे अक्वायर द मिनिमम सरफेस एरिया सो द रिलेटिव ग्रोथ इट इज मॅक्सिमम ऍज कंपेयर टू दिस द इनिशियल ग्रोथ सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट दिस इज द ट्रिक while uh, solving the mcqs based on the relative growth and uh, the growth comparison i think you understand well uh, what is meant by uh, the relative growth so what is meant by the relative growth the growth of given system per unit time for its initial growth it is called as the relative growth so student now uh, we will see the next part of this topic uh, that is a growth curve so uh, these uh, few growth curves are included in your syllabus uh, there are the three uh, different types of the growth curve okay so see uh, the growth curve okay growth curve uh, the three different types of the growth curves are there the first one it is the linear growth curve second one it is the exponential growth curve and the third one it is the sigmoid growth curve so see uh, this growth curve so these growth curves are plotted uh, per unit time okay means uh, the time is taken on the x axis okay on this x axis and the the growth it is shown on the y axis so see student uh, we are studied uh, the type of growth means we are studied uh, the arithmetic growth and we are studied the geometric growth there we are studied uh, the what type of the uh, growth curves are there so see uh, uh, with the help of this curve we have to revise in brief and uh, those curves and along with that we will see what are the characteristic features of this growth curve see uh, in the first one uh, this is the first uh, this is a linear growth curve this linear growth curve where it is seen it is seen in the arithmetic growth okay in the arithmetic growth we have seen in previous lecture what is meant by the arithmetic growth and how it is takes place okay how it is takes place and what are the rules of uh, that cell uh, to show the arithmetic growth we have seen uh, in detail in previous lecture so there uh, the growth is obtained that growth uh, it is a linear growth because that growth is a rapid growth it is seen so the curve is obtained that curve it is a linear curve okay linear curve it is seen uh, in the arithmetic growth okay then the next one the next type of uh, the growth curve it is a exponential uh, growth curve that exponential growth curve it shows uh, the later j shaped structure okay it shows uh, the later j shaped structure uh in the sense uh, the one example uh the per year uh, the increase in population of the human being increase in population of the human being we observed uh, there is a sudden increase uh, in the population number of the human being okay there is a sudden increase so within a short time okay uh, within a short time uh, here within a short time it shows the sudden increase okay it shows this sudden increase means within a short time or within a short duration 
okay within a short duration it shows the maximum increase okay it shows the maximum increase and this is the characteristic feature of the exponential curve okay it show it is the characteristic feature of the ex exponential curve in the sense uh, the time period is very short uh, but it shows the maximum growth or it shows the maximum number of uh, the population so the population number increases within a short time so such a type of the curve uh, it is called as the exponential curve okay uh, exponential curve or it shows uh, the sudden increase okay it shows the sudden increase in the population number so uh, you remember this one then the next type of the curve uh, we have studied in case of the geometric growth that uh, that curve uh, it is a sigmoid curve okay that curve it is a sigmoid curve that sigmoid curve uh, remember student uh, it shows the different uh, phases of growth at uh, the different stages in the life cycle of that plant okay in the life cycle of that plant uh, at the different stages it shows the different phases of growth okay phases of growth so uh, what are those phases of growth uh, initially the growth rate it is a very little growth rate okay very small growth rate but uh, there the time requirement it is maximum okay time requirement it is maximum uh, so uh, that uh, phase of growth it is called as a lag phase okay uh, it is called as a lag phase then the next type of uh, the phase uh, it is seen uh, on this the sigmoid curve that uh, a phase it is called as a exponential phase okay it is called as a exponential phase okay or it also shows uh, the grand period of growth it also shows uh, the grand period of growth remember student uh, this exponential uh, phase it is seen at uh, the certain stage in the life cycle of that plant uh, it shows the sudden increase so within a short time it shows the maximum growth and such a type of the phase it is called as the exponential phase we have studied this part in detail in previous lecture then uh, finally uh, that uh, growth they attain its maturity okay they attain its maturity so that phase it is called as a stationary phase uh, remember maturity in the sense uh, that phase it is also called as a, a senescent stage senescent stage or it is also called as a adult stage or it is also called as a mature phase it is also called as a mature phase in the sense when that organ or uh, the plant part when uh, they attain its final growth at that time what happened it shows the cell differentiation and cell maturation so at this stage uh, it shows the cell differentiation and cell maturation in the sense when that cell get mature and when that cell they get differentiated they unable to divide further okay because uh, that differentiated cell they shows uh, the secondary deposition of the cellulosic material and when uh, there is a secondary deposition of the cellulosic material that cell uh, they lose its uh, uh, dividing ability they unable to divide they uh, get differentiated means they attain its final uh, final form so uh, here the growth rate at this stationary phase it is very slow okay growth rate it is very slow but it required uh, the maximum time so all these details we are seeing in the previous lecture so uh, with respect to this uh, the uh, different phases of growth which are seen in the sigmoid curve so uh, the time required to complete this different phases of growth uh, it is called as the grand period of growth okay it is called as the grand period of growth okay it's called as the grand period of growth manje uh, 
या तीन ही फेजेस कंप्लीट होने जो प्लांट लाइफ साइकल मध्य जो वे लगते त्या वेले, त्या वेले ला जाता इट इज अ ग्रैंड पीरियड ऑफ ग्रोथ सो स्टूडेंट विद दिस वी आर स्टडीड थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ग्रोथ कर्व्स एंड अलोंग विद दैट वी आर सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय द ग्रैंड पीरियड ऑफ द ग्रोथ ओके स्टूडेंट नाउ वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक that is the differentiation and de differentiation and re differentiation so let's see student on this question will be asked what is meant by the differentiation what is meant by is the de differentiation and what is meant by the re differentiation remember uh, these three terms they are the confusing terms generally students get confused uh, what is meant by the differentiation de differentiation and the re differentiation let's see in detail about uh, the uh, these three uh, processes seen in the plant uh, first one it is the differentiation so what is the uh, differentiation it is the process of cell maturation okay see what is meant by the differentiation uh, the differentiation means it is the process of uh, the cell maturation okay maturation from the meristematic cell okay or from the apical meristem it is called as a differentiation means it is the process of cell maturation derived from the apical meristem so uh, differentiation means uh, it is the process of process of cell maturation okay it is the process of the cell maturation derived from the apical meristem so we are seeing the apical meristem uh, which are situated at the shoot apex okay which are situated at the shoot apex so we are seeing that uh, so this is the position of the apical meristem apical meristem so uh, the cells they are formed from the apical meristem okay uh, it is the process of uh, the cell maturation derived from apical meristem okay derived from apical meristem it is called as a differentiation okay it is called as a differentiation means uh, here the cells they are formed from the apical meristem uh, through the cell division you are aware with that okay you are aware with that and uh, there is a formation of the various types of the mature cell okay various types of the mature cell in the sense that mature cells uh, they shows the permanent anatomical and physiological changes they shows the permanent anatomical and physiological changes and they attain the final size okay final size shape and form okay and when the cells they are formed due to differentiation they are unable to divide further okay they are unable to divide further in the sense uh, they uh, attain its maturity okay it is called as a differentiation remember the one example it is given in our textbook uh, that is a formation of uh, the parenchyma in case of the hydrophytes okay means in case of uh, the cornea in case of salvia in case of pistia uh, these are uh, the water hyacinth or these are also called as aquatic plants in that aquatic plants uh, the parenchyma it is zebra okay parenchyma parenchyma it is a type of the parenchyma and that parenchyma uh, they are having uh, the cytogenous interspaces okay they are having the cytogenous cytogenous okay cytogenous interspaces okay cytogenous interspaces means parenchyma parenchyma of the aquatic plant they are having 
they such a type of this cytogenous interspaces so what is that cytogenous interspaces the cytogenous interspaces means what uh, during its uh, maturity okay means during the differentiation uh, initially all the parenchyma cells they are compactly arranged they are not having the much intercellular space between okay but uh, what happens student uh there is a formation of this cytogenous interspaces in the sense in case of the aquatic plant uh this is the initial uh, parenchymatous tissue okay this is the parenchymatous tissue and uh, how they form this is type of the cytogenous interspaces the cell wall of the neighboring cell they get separated from each other they get separated from each other means this cell wall this cell wall and this cell wall the cell wall of this neighboring cell they get separated from each other means they the entire cell they move apart from each other okay apart from each other and because of that in between a such a type of the large cavity generated okay large cavity it is generated and that cavity uh, it is called as the cytogenous cavity or that that cavity is called as cytogenous interspaces okay it is called as cytogenous interspaces so uh, what is the uh, function of this cytogenous interspaces remember that cytogenous interspaces in case of aquatic plant they provide the mechanical support to that plant along with that they provide the buoyancy to that plant buoyancy in the sense marathi madhe apan dela tarangnyachi kshamata asa manto म्हणजे हा एरेन कायमा हा टिश्यू त्या एक्वेटिक प्लांटला पाण्यावर तरंगण्याची क्षमता निर्माण करून देतो किंवा त्याच्यामध्ये ती क्षमता आणतो बिकॉज दे आर हॅविंग दी सच टाईप ऑफ दिस सायझोजिनस इंटरस्पेसेस ओके अँड सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दॅट एक्वेटिक प्लांट दे इझली फ्लोट ओव्हर दी वॉटर सर्फेस ओके सो सच टाईप ऑफ द टिश्यू Uh, get differentiated from its original um, meristematic cell okay from this original meristematic cell and they attain its maturity okay when uh, a such a type of the tissue is formed that tissue they enable to divide further and uh, uh, so because of this uh, that plant they float over the water surface so remember uh, this is the actually the adaptive characteristic feature seen in the aquatic plant because of this uh, the differentiation so student in short what is meant by the differentiation the differentiation means uh, the cells are formed from the apical meristem that cells uh, they uh, mature and they get differentiated okay they mature and they get differentiated and they unable to divide further it is called as the differentiation so that apical meristem from this apical meristem through the cell division the cell they get differentiated and they form the various types of the cells in the plant body so whatever the cells are formed because of the differentiation in the plant body that is epidermal cells okay epidermal cells then uh, the cortical cells uh, there is a formation of the endodermal cells okay endodermal cells then there is a formation of uh, the pericycle okay pericycle cells then there is a formation of the xylem xylem cells and there is a formation of the phloem cells okay so because of the differentiation uh the all the formed cells from the meristematic tissue all the formed cells they get mature and that cell they get differentiated in the form of the various types of the cells it is called as the differentiation and what are those cells the cells are the epidermal cells cortical cells then endodermal cells pericycle cells xylem and phloem cells okay so see uh, this is the differentiation then what is student what is meant by the de differentiation 
what is meant by the de differentiation so this de differentiation means it is the reversal of the differentiation remember it is the reversal reversal of the differentiation okay it is a reversal of differentiation so uh, remember student uh, the uh, the cells are formed because of the differentiation okay cells are formed because of the differentiation that permanent cells they regain uh, the power of division okay they regain the power of division and because of this okay because of this uh, there is a formation of the interfascicular cambium and core cambium okay interfascicular cambium and core cambium these are the secondary metastem so remember student uh, this de differentiation it is the reversal of this differentiation process okay it is a reversal of differentiation process in this there is a formation of the secondary meristems okay there is a formation of secondary meristems so what are those secondary meristem uh, the secondary meristem it is interfascicular cambium and the core cambium okay inter interfascicular cambium okay interfascicular cambium and core cambium interfascicular cambium and core cambium so formation of this secondary meristem it is called as a de differentiation it is called as a de differentiation remember student this uh, the interfascicular cambium and core cambium it is formed from parenchymatous uh, parenchymatous cells in the sense the cells uh, which are situated at the medullary ring so this interfascicular cambium it is formed from uh, the from the medullary rays okay it is formed from the medullary rays and this cork cambium it is formed from the outer layer of the cortex okay it is formed from the outer layer okay layer of cortex outer layer of cortex see student why these are called as a reversal of differentiation okay why these are called as a reversal of differentiation because uh, this medullary ray cells or the medullary ray it they are formed because of the differentiation so these cells are permanent okay then this outer layer of cortex or that cortex cells they are formed from uh, because of the differentiation process okay because of the differentiation process but here what happened uh, that formed cortical cells this cortical cells okay formed cortical cells uh, they regain the power of division okay they regain the power of division and they become meristematic they become meristematic and uh, there is a formation of the interfascicular cambium and core cambium uh, this is means uh it is the exact reversal of differentiation and it is called as a de differentiation remember student uh during the de differentiation in the plant there is a formation of secondary meristem okay there is a formation of secondary meristem so always remember the secondary meristem it is formed uh in the plant because of the de differentiation process and that de differentiation process it is the reversal of the differentiation okay then the next one uh, reversal uh, remember uh, why it is the reversal of differentiation in the sense uh, during differentiation uh, this permanent cells are formed from uh, the meristematic cell okay permanent cells are formed from the meristematic cell and in the de differentiation what happen uh, the meristematic cells they are formed from permanent cell okay they are formed from permanent cell so it is clearly a reversal 
of the differentiation process. See again in Marathi, uh, differentiation process मधे permanent cell जा है, क्योंकि यह सगड़ा permanent cell जा है, ते पुना पासुन form जाले लाए, या meristem पासुन form जाले लाए, बरो है? मग इतर de-differentiation मधे काय होता, meristem हा पुना permanent cell पासुन form होता, या permanent cell सा है, ओके परमानेंट सेल या परमानेंट सेल पासून मेरिस्टेम फॉर्म होतो त्यालाच आपण डी डिफरेंशिएशन म्हणतो म्हणूनच त्याला आपण डी डिफरेंशिएशन डिफरेंशिएशन ची रिवर्सल प्रोसेस असं म्हणतो पुन्हा एकदा बघा डिफरेंशिएशन मध्ये परमानेंट सेल या मेरिस्टेमॅटिक सेल पासून फॉर्म होतात आणि डी डिफरेंशिएशन मध्ये मेरिस्टेमॅटिक सेल्स या परमानेंट सेल पासून फॉर्म होतात म्हणजे हे एक मेकाला कसं आहे रिवर्स आहे म्हणून आपण डी डिफरेंशिएशनला हे रिवर्सल ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन असं म्हणतो सो यू रिमेंबर स्टुडंट देन सी द लास्ट प्रोसेस दैट इज रीडिफरेंशिएशन ओके लास्ट वन इट इज रीडिफरेंशिएशन सो सी व्हाट हॅपन इन द रीडिफरेंशिएशन रिमेंबर द that uh, redifferentiation redifferentiation means uh, there is a again uh, there is a differentiation process okay there is again differentiation process so what is that differentiation process the formation of uh, the permanent cells from the meristematic tissue it is called as a differentiation process so third time what happened in the plant in the third time uh, we observed uh, the again differentiation process again differentiation process in the sense uh, it is called as a redifferentiation process uh, means what there is again the formation of uh, the permanent cell from the meristematic tissue so now which meristematic tissue is ready here uh, there is a presence of this secondary meristem okay there is a presence of this secondary meristem so this is the secondary meristem that will interfascular cambium and cord cambium okay interfascular cambium and the cord cambium this is the secondary meristem so formation of uh, the permanent cell from this secondary meristem so this uh, secondary meristem in that the interfascular cambium so what they form from this interfascular cambium uh, there is a formation of uh, the secondary xylem okay secondary xylem and and secondary okay secondary phloem okay secondary xylem and secondary phloem so this is the secondary xylem and secondary phloem these are the permanent cells so okay, these are the permanent cells they get differentiated and they are unable to divide further okay they are unable to divide further म्हणजे रीडिफरेंशिएशन मध्ये पुन्हा काय होतं की ह्या मेरिस्टेम पासून म्हणजे इंटरफॅसिकुलर कॅम्बियम पासून पुन्हा परमानेंट सेल फॉर्म होतो ओके पुन्हा परमानेंट सेल इथे फॉर्म होतो आता ह्या कॉर्ड कॅम्बियम पासून कॉर्ड कॅम्बियम पासून देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सेकेंडरी कॉर्टेक्स ओके देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सेकेंडरी कॉर्टेक्स सो रिमेंबर इन द रीडिफरेंशिएशन there is again formation of the permanent cell or the differentiated cell or uh, there is a formation of the mature permanent differentiated cell from the meristematic tissue uh, it is called as the redifferentiation okay it is called as a redifferentiation so uh, you remember student i think you understand these three processes the differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation let's say uh, in short in marathi see in the differentiation differentiation madhe kay hota meristematic tissue pasun permanent cell form hota baroba manu tela apan differentiation asa mhanto in the de differentiation madhe yacha ulat form hota ulat pahayla milta kay pahayla milta कि परमनंट सेल पासून मेरिस्टेम्स फॉर्म तयार तयार झालेले पाहायला मिळतात 
म्हणून आपण त्याला डी डिफरन्शिएशन म्हणतो म्हणूनच डी डिफरन्शिएशन ला ही डिफरन्शिएशन ची उलट प्रक्रिया आहे असं म्हणतो उलट प्रक्रिया आहे असं म्हणतो म्हणजेच आपण त्याला म्हणतो रिव्हर्सल ऑफ डिफरन्शिएशन की याच्यामध्ये परमनंट टिश्यू पासून मेरिस्टमॅटिक टिश्यू फॉर्म होतो ओके परमनंट टिश्यू म्हणजे मेडुलरी रे पासून इंटरफॅसिक्युलर कॅम्बियम फॉर्म होत आणि आउटरमोस कॉर्टेक्स लेअर पासून काय तयार होत कॉर्क कॅम्बियम फॉर्म होत म्हणजेच परमनंट टिश्यू पासून पुन्हा मेरिस्टमॅटिक टिश्यू फॉर्म होणं त्याला आपण डी डिफरन्शिएशन असं म्हणतो आणि री डिफरन्शिएशन री डिफरन्शिएशन म्हणजे पुन्हा एकदा डिफरन्शिएशन होणं त्याला आपण री डिफरन्शिएशन असं म्हणतो री डिफरन्शिएशन मध्ये काय होत त्याच्या अगोदर री डिफरन्शिएशन बघा डिफरन्शिएशन मध्ये मेरिस्टमॅटिक टिश्यू पासून परमनंट टिश्यू तसंच री डिफरन्शिएशन मध्ये या सेकंडरी मेरिस्टेम पासून हे परमनंट टिश्यू फॉर्म होतात म्हणजे सेकंडरी मेरिस्टेम कुठले इंटरफॅसिक्युलर कॅम्बियम त्याच्यापासून सेकंडरी झायलेम सेकंड फ्लोएम फॉर्म होत आणि कॉर्क कॅम्बियम पासून सेकंडरी कॉर्टेक्स फॉर्म होत सो यू रिमेंबर स्टुडंट वॉट इज मीन बाय डिफरन्शिएशन वॉट इज मीन बाय डी डिफरन्शिएशन अँड वॉट इज मीन बाय दी री डिफरन्शिएशन सो स्टुडंट वी आर स्टडीड दिस थ्री प्रोसेस ऑफ दी डिफरन्शिएशन